Hello you lovely lot, welcome back to Christmas week. So today I'm going to be doing a bright lip, which is perfect for Christmas, right? Perfect for any party in fact. Everyone loves a bright lip, don't they? Well, not me. Not for me. I love doing a bright lip, like on shoots, I am a perfectionist about it. Because most models have beautiful, amazing, wonderful lips, right? Yep. I don't. My dad actually used to call me dolphin lips because my lips are so thin. Affectionately, obviously. Oh, and also because I can do a really good dolphin impression. So my lips are, like I say, they're thin. They're a little bit wonky. They just don't hold lipstick very, very well. So over the years, I've had to learn loads of tips and tricks on how to get a good bright lip because obviously I want to wear a bright lip. There's millions of lipstick, amazing colours out there. So these are my top tips. And at the same time, if you've got perfect lips, then good for you, <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> but you can also use these tips. So first thing I've done is just put a lip balm all over my lips just to make sure that they're really hydrated. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a concealer. This is Boing 02. This is the colour I'd use over my face. I'm just going to pat this all over my lips. Not too much. And you can see I've got the reminiscence there of a sore lip. But it's fine. It's going down now. So I'll cover it with this. But what this is also going to do, just blanks out the natural colour of your lips. Meaning that you get the full colour of the lipstick that you're going to be using. Okay, so now I'm going to be using a lip liner to start with. So I'm going to be using like an orangey red lipstick. So I've gone for an orange lip liner. So I always go for a shade that's slightly lighter than the lipstick because of the, the size of my lips. Um, brightening around the outside will actually make them look slightly bigger. So, result. Sharpen your pencil, that's the first tip, okay? Make sure it's super, super sharp, otherwise it just won't do anything. And you're going to start by drawing a cross into the center of the lips. Now I'm going to zoom in and the reason you're going to do this is because that's going to help you to create the shape of your lips. So particularly this area here, the cupid's bow, that's what gives you that pout. So we want to make sure that that's as defined as it possibly can be. So draw that cross and follow me because I can't talk whilst I'm doing this. So first line diagonally across. and your second line diagonally across. So, you've now got a cross in the centre of your lips. We're now going to go around the outside of the lips. So slightly outside the lip line, but not over the top. We don't want that ridiculously drawn on lip. So just slightly outside with the pencil. Right, and before you get to the inner corners, just stop, because we'll do those in a bit. And now we're going to do the bottom of the lips, so the bottom lip. And a top tip for this is, is to stretch the skin. <laughs> but if you do that, it's going to stretch the skin, meaning that you get a smoother line. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the liner to actually fill in the entire lip now that we've got the shape. The reason we're doing that is because that's going to actually keep the colour on longer. So when the lipstick goes, then you know you've got your liner underneath and it holds and locks in the lipstick because they're very, very different formulas. Lipsticks have a lot of oil in them. So by using the concealer, then by using the liner, then putting the lipstick over top, it's more likely to last longer. And I'm actually going, you see little strokes downwards rather than just scribbling it in. That's because I'm just following the way that the lips are. So the, the skin actually it goes down, if you see, and you get those little creases in, you can see that it goes up and down, it doesn't go side to side, so I'm following the line. When you've done that, you can now go on to the inner corners, so you want to open the mouth a bit and join those corners up, but you're going to work, don't go around the edge of the lips here because actually again that's going to create a really weird shaped lip, you're going to work from the inside of the lip out. So this colour by itself is actually really nice, but now I'm going to take my lipstick to give it a bit more dimension. I'm going to take a lip brush, 
loads of different brushes out there, but I'm taking one of the crown brush lip brushes. And start in the center of the lips and just blend it outwards. Don't worry about the edge yet, just do the inner lip. And then I'm actually going to take a hard angle brush, or an eyebrow brush, to do the outer edge. Because where it's got that hard finish to it, and it's not going to splay like sometimes a lip brush can. And next we're going to go back to that concealer that we started with. We're actually going to apply that all the way around the lip line. It's going to frame it and make your lips look so much more defined. And you can use your fingers blend it down. It's a really good product as well to use, well concealer is really good to use. If you've made a mistake it almost like erases it rather than having to take it off with makeup remover that can cause a right mess just use your concealer to erase it. Now another top tip for you, take some highlighter, use a cotton bud and we're going to put this into the cupid's bow area just to make your lips look even poutier. Then you're going to apply a little bit into the centre of the lips with your finger, but just be really gentle. Then you're going to take your finger and just do that. Now, what that's going to do is take all the lipstick um, away, the excess lipstick, so that you don't get it on your teeth like your nan later. And then I'm going to finish with a gloss, just to give you that super pout. And that highlighter in the centre is then just going to make your lips look bigger and fuller along with the gloss. And there you have it, the perfect bright pout ready for the parties. And my lips look so much bigger, right? I love this look. And I love it with minimal makeup like I've got as well, because I think that it's all about the lip. So give it a go. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.